unlike some delusional and unrealistic people, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that racism doesn't exist because we know that it does. We know it does. We've seen how race affects us all the time. Now, there are black people that choose to ignore this fact, and there are black people that choose to accept it and understand that because you have your skin color, which is different from other people, you are going to be treated a certain way, and it's most of the time not going to be treated fairly. Now, I don't sit on here and whine. I don't get up on here and blame the white man for everything, but we have to be a realistic people about what the hell is going on in the world. Many black people are afraid of white people. I know it sounds crazy because I'm not afraid of white people at all. I'm not afraid of anybody. The only person, or I should say the only entity I'm scared of will be God. Okay, because I do believe in God. Other than that, I don't fear any fucking man on this planet. I don't give a fuck what color he is, especially white. They don't scare me at all. Never have, never will. But unfortunately, there are black people out here that are afraid of white people and what they decide to do instead of fighting against white people and their oppression is they decide to assimilate to white people, assimilate to their society, assimilate to their particular set of beliefs. And that belief system is throwing your people under the bus, thinking like them against your own and taking on any and every ideal that they give you that they have okay we know this is true now if you've been watching the news like i've been watching the news you've seen all types of injustice i'm not going to sit here also and tell you that black people are completely innocent of committing crimes because we know that we commit crimes just as well as anybody else but i'm also not going to condone when someone innocent you know pays the price for something that they haven't done I just uh, happened to wake up because I was asleep, woke up and found out on Willie D. Show that this man named Nathaniel Woods, who didn't kill these three police officers back in 2004, another man, a black man, confessed to the crime, even told people, you know, told the reporters that he was the only one that pulled the trigger. Nathaniel Woods didn't pull the trigger at all. Despite that being said, he, him telling the press that, they still decided to execute this black man who was innocent of that crime. Maybe he was guilty by association of being with that particular guy that pulled the trigger, uh, the trigger, excuse me, but he did not kill those police officers. But Alabama, which is a racist state as far as I'm concerned, I don't give a damn what anyone says, they decided to execute him instead of the actual murderer. And there's one thing that I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, even as a child, I knew what racism was. As I grew up, I tried to ignore a lot of racism and try to just accept people for who they are because that's how I was raised. But there were places that I could just be told as a child and I would say they're racist. Kentucky, Alabama, Mississippi, those three come to mind and i'm pretty sure you can name some others but those three i just named they came to mind as racist places in particular mississippi where you know i got mississippi in my head because i used to read tom sawyer and huckleberry finn those particular places indeed to me always seem to be racist i'm sorry that's just how i feel and i'm pretty sure that's how most of you feel as well because it hasn't gotten any better I'm glad I don't live in Texas. I'm glad I don't live in any of them states, okay? We know racism is everywhere, but I'm just saying, those particular states especially, with gun crazy ass white people over there shooting people up, and there were instances of black men. A long time ago, when I was even in my 20s, I believe, or late teens, black man got dragged, okay? He was tied to a truck, and he was dragged through the woods until he was dead, okay? At this point, I know racism exists. I always knew it existed. I tried to ignore it because it's an ugly thing, but eventually you have to face the facts and face the truth that this is something that exists and it does affect you more than anybody else, black people. Trust me. That's the part that you need to really understand. Now, you can give me low views, YouTube, all you want, but there is still somebody that is out there that's going to listen to me. I'm not going to have the, the core audience that I used to have before, the views I used to have, but someone out there will listen to what I have to say. 
And I'm glad of that because they need to know. Just like they listen to other people on YouTube in the black sectors of YouTube, they need to continue to listen to me as well because I only come on here to make my people feel you know, empowered and let them know what the hell is going on because some of them still are in dreamland. They're in slumberland right now. You have this man who was innocent who was killed. You have videos of people like Sandra Bland being harassed by police. You got Corinne Gaines who was killed and her son was shot right on Facebook Live as it was happening. You got men, black men who, you know, told to put their hands up and they put their hands up. They want to show their ID very slowly and they're doing that and they still get shot because itchy trigger finger cops. Okay. You got. People who put their hands up and say, hands up, don't shoot, and they still get shot, okay? You got people that, black people that comply with the law, and they still are murdered by police. And I said murdered because they are murdered. No reason, they just killed. The only reason is their skin color. I'm not going to have any white person come on here and tell me I'm fucking racist. They can kiss my ass. Any white person can kiss my ass that tells me I'm racist because I'm not racist at all. You're white. You don't live in my world. You don't know what it is to be black. You don't want to know what it is to be black, but you want to emulate black people by pretending that you, you know, can be a hip hop star, that you listen to rap music. Oh, you're black. You know the black struggle. Oh, I got a black girl. You don't know a fucking thing about being black. You never will because you're not black. And I'm not going to let any black person, I'm not going to let any white person, I'm not going to let YouTube tell me that I'm fucking racist because I'm not. I never hated anybody for their skin color. I have friends of different nationalities, different backgrounds. I got white friends, not many, but I have a few who know that I talk like this and they don't give a fuck because they're not like the people that I talk about in their community. It doesn't affect them because they don't act like that towards me or other black people. But white supremacy is a problem because it is an ideal that these white people have in their mind that they're supreme, that they're better than everybody else. And you're nothing to them. You are beneath them. That is their ideal. That is what they believe. Now, white supremacy to me is a myth and a fucking lie because I don't believe in your supremacy over mine at all. It's a sickness is what it is. And it's a sickness that black people have when they decide to join the wrong team, the enemy against their own people. That's why I talk against interracial dating. That's why I talk against any black person that throws their people under the bus. That's why I talk about any black person that has this ideal of thinking that these people are better than them. When we have done so much in this world, contributed so much in this world, that they want to cover up, that they want to, you know, put in the shadows behind closed doors that they don't want anybody to know what we've done because they want to believe, they want people to believe that they've done everything and we've done nothing but been their fucking slaves and it's not true. And I'm sorry I'm cursing, but it gets on my nerves and it makes me angry. Then I saw a video, um, just happened to be in the suggestion box. Phil has a channel, you know who Phil is from uh, Advise Show. Now he is known as the African Diaspora Channel. I haven't watched him for a while, but a video came up that he did and I actually looked at it. Where an innocent black man is coming from work, he's being detained by a white police officer and then a whole bunch of other police officers, some black as well, pile on this fucking man. This man is not doing a thing wrong. He's asking the police officer that's holding him at bay by, by this wall, what am I doing? I've done nothing wrong. I'm coming from work. And all these police officers just pile up on this guy. They pile up. They was running at him like he had a weapon. He had no weapon. He's being held. Not even fucking making a move or trying to resist. They got on top of this guy. They probably broke his arm or whatever. He's screaming in pain. Oh, my God. That could be any of us black men. I don't care how strong you think you are, black man. When you got 10, 15 motherfuckers getting on top of you, it's going to be hard to push them off unless you got some kind of super strength. And this ain't no fucking comic book. This is real life right now. This could happen to anybody. I said myself, I'll probably get killed because if somebody is jumping on top of me like that, I don't give a damn how many of them are. I'm going to struggle to get them the fuck off me. I don't care at that point if they're police officers or not. They will have a reason to kill me because you're not going to get on top of me, especially after detaining me for doing nothing. So I see the injustices that happen when it comes to my people. I see how the honeypot commercial was, you know, taken as a... It was taken pretty much as an empowerment 
to black girls to achieve their dreams like this woman who is uh, behind the honeypot particular company. And white supremacists want to leave bad reviews on her particular product on her company talking about it's, you know, the product is bad and this and that. White people want to be included in everything that black people do, but they don't want to include black people in anything they do. I don't care if you include me in what you do at all because I no longer give a fuck what white people think about me. I haven't given a fuck what white people think about me for the last six years. I have not given a shit. I don't care if you hate me. I don't give a fuck if you like me. It does not matter. And if you hate me and want to do something to me, you'll find out what happens to you when you come at me. And I'm not saying it is a threat in this fucking video. You will find out. And it will go really bad for you. It'll go south for you real fast. Because I have absolutely no patience and tolerance for white supremacy at all. And I have no patience and tolerance for any black person that betrays their own people. Whether you want to promote interracial dating. Whether you want to take the side of white people and say that black people are all criminals. You can all kiss my ass. None of you are good. All of you are doing the work of the devil. I don't give a f I said it. It's true. It's evil. It's evil. It is. And that's all there is to it. So I see the injustice. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to tell you that all black people are innocent. We have criminals. White people have criminals too. Other ethnicities and nationalities and backgrounds have criminals as well. But I keep seeing the hate every single day. See it out here in real life. I see it right there on the television. And then when you see stuff like that and you call it out, white people got the nerve to call you racist. But their racism is what's being shown every single day. And if you don't feel a certain type of way about black people, you should probably try to understand that when black people are calling out actual racist shit, you should try to understand that that's exactly what it is. Because if you see them getting treated a certain way that you're not being treated and you get treated better than us, you should seem to understand, you should try to understand that that's wrong. But I don't give a fuck if you understand or not Because I don't beg white people for shit I don't I work for my own I'm not if, if I was broken in the street I wouldn't beg a white person for one fucking thing I'm sorry I wouldn't beg anybody for anything But especially you I wouldn't I lost a lot of respect for these so-called people In the dominant society that I had for them I don't want them near me anymore I don't want them in my life The most that they'll be in my life is through comic books Because I still like to read Spider-Man and the Hulk because I'm a big superhero fan. That's about it. As far as uh, most of them is my friends, I have a very small, small, and I mean, count them on one fucking hand, small group of, of friends from that society. I keep them at bay. I don't really trust a lot of people at all, but I really don't have a lot of respect for these people anymore because they continue to show their ass, their hatred. And I'm tired of it. I'm really tired of it. I'm never going to get to the point where I hate these people, but I'm just sick and tired of that bullshit. You don't get to play that reverse racism shit with me because there's no such thing as reverse racism. A black person can be bigoted. They can be maybe dislike you, of course. Yeah. But as far as being racist, having power to, you know, oppress you. No fucking way. Bullshit. More lies, just like the lies you told in the past. So all the black people you got duped out there, they're lost. They're, f they're far gone. But you don't got this black man duped at all. Because I know your game. Like Angel says, I know your fucking game. End of story. Talk to people next time I'm out.